I believe that God wants us to actually be intentional about pursuing humility. The Bible says it this way, if you humble yourself, you will be exalted. See, that's, that's intentional. Humble yourself, you will be exalted. If you exalt yourself, God will abase us. So there's an active and a passive verb there, isn't there? If I lift myself up, he will put me down, passive. If I humble myself, active, he will lift me up, passive. And so the answer is, let's pursue humility. If it takes fasting, fast, like he did here. But I want to be a person filled with humility, Lord. And I have four ways I want to share with you as we close about how humility can come into our life. One is fasting, like we just read, and prayer. Second Chronicles 7, which is one that you read earlier this morning, Sue. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command locusts to devour the land, or send a plague among my people. Now, you see, it's the hand of God that did this, right? He's the one that stopped the rain, or he's the one that made it rain, or stopped the rain. He's the one that commanded the locusts and so on. He says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. The difficulty was coming upon the land, and he says, if you'll just humble yourself and pray and seek my face and turn from your wicked ways, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and will hear their land. So humility can come through prayer. Just humble ourselves to pray to ask him, to realize that God is the one who works in the affairs of this world. God, I need you. I'm going through a difficult time. I'm asking for your help. Prayer almost in, its se in itself is a, a, is a posture of humility. We're down on our knees or we're appealing to somebody more powerful. We're asking. The Bible says he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think. And, I, and I've said it before. I'm not trying to be funny about it, but I can, I can it's, a, it's, a, it's a grief to me that I'm thinking that most of the, the most powerful prayer many of us pray in a day is, Lord, bless my lunch to the nourishment of my body in Jesus' name. We're talking about Almighty God here. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Is that the greatest prayer? We're praying. Ask the Lord to give you bold prayers, great prayers. But we humble ourselves in prayer.